An interest in the bygone days of our town is no new thing. In the 1960s, Doncaster's Cine Guild made the following film to document the changes just occurring in the town. And we present it here with the original soundtrack. A large part of the centre of the town has already been demolished. And where once were Cleveland Street and the other little streets surrounding it, now stand heaps of rubble and partly constructed buildings. Sepulchre Gate and Trafford Street is to be known as the Arndale Centre. And these artist impressions, compared with the same spot as seen today, will give some idea how the site will look when redevelopment is completed. Modern arcades will, with shops on two levels will protect the shopper from the weather. These other artist impressions show what the central shopping precinct will be like when it is finished. Like every industrial town in Britain, Doncaster was determined to be ready for war. Doncaster, of course, is a town built on rail. On Tuesday, the 26th of March, ten weeks to the day since alterations were commenced in the works, Flying Scotsman emerged from the locomotive paint shop at Doncaster. She had now said goodbye forever to her last links with British Railways. The number 60103 on the cab sides and the comparatively dark locomotive green paint with which everyone was familiar. Grey Primer at one stage of the operation gave her a curious appearance. Then the old LNER apple green paint was applied, the locomotive lined out, her original number, 4472, painted on in gold leaf, and the letters LNER painted on her newly acquired corridor tender. Along with the railways and coal, racing, and particularly the Ledger Festival, has had an enormous impact on Doncaster over the years.
Michael Franco was a Polish soldier who came to England in the aftermath of the Second World War and moved to Doncaster. He was so impressed with the area, he stayed and decided to record it on film. St Sepulchre Gate with Harry Jacobs Furniture Shop, now the Halifax Building Society. Priestnell's Cafe and the Grand Theatre with Gresley House in the background. Many buses ran from here and this one's bound for Leicester Avenue. The fair, nowadays held on the racecourse, has always been a popular attraction. But for a long time the venue was Docking Hill and that's where this film was taken, probably in the 1960s. The 60s brought new investment and growth to Doncaster. It was a time to build, and all over the town, Doncaster's engineers set to it. One of the much needed developments was a new museum and art centre. And so building began on Checker Road. It was to be a building of the 60s generation, complete with modern sculptures decorating its outside walls. And Princess Margaret came with her then-husband, Anthony Armstrong Jones, to open it to the public. In 1973, Doncaster set its wares before the European market and staged Impel 73. Some of the vehicles are quite sophisticated, while others, well... And they're off, the first of the wacky raft races, and we'll leave you to enjoy the fun. And finally, a few little pieces of nostalgia we couldn't find a category for anywhere else. So the question is, do you remember? Remember?